going on YouTube? This is ParkerLad88 coming at you with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a uh, character breakdown for a cat. But this is going to be a little bit different than my other character breakdown uh, videos. There have been about two patches for Power Rangers um, since my very uh, first video where I actually covered a uh, cat's character breakdown. And I just want to share with you guys what those changes are. So let's go ahead and talk about cat and uh, what changed. All right, guys, so as I mentioned before, I have already done a character breakdown for Cat. If you would like, um, I will leave in the description box uh, a link to that video, and you guys are more than welcome to uh, check that out, going over her move list, her combos, and her game plan. Here, we're just going to focus on uh, what changed between that video and this one. Just for the record, the combos for the most part are kind of similar, and her game plan is definitely still the same. We just execute them a little bit differently. So. Let's talk about Kat and what her biggest change probably was, in my personal opinion, and that's the fact that you can no longer combo her crouching medium attack into her standing medium attack. This was a really big deal for Kat because she had a relatively... She's, I mean, this move is still fantastic, but it's like you just no longer get the reliable hit confirm in, into her cartwheel loops from that range. It's like you either have to choose between the range or you have to sacrifice a little bit of that range, and then your new... um starting hit confirm for the combo is now doing your crouching lights into your standing medium standing hard and then going into your cartwheel from there so as a result of that we have a couple of different combos for cat for which i will demonstrate uh, right now So there is uh, your one option, and uh, the other one should look something like this. So that's pretty much what we're working with as far as combos with Cat. Um, as you guys saw there, the Kimberly assist did in combo. And the reason why that is, is I don't know if it's a nerf for Cat or if it's a nerf for Kimberly, or who knows, maybe it's just me and I suck at timing. But either way, I can no longer reliably combo Kimberly's assist in the middle of doing Cat's Rekka. So what I will now do instead is I will do Rekka, call Kimberly, Rekka again, and then I'll flip over to the other side and then just turn it into like a left-right mix-up reset, which, uh, you know, still gives you good damage, but I just think that that's easier. You guys may have also noticed the fact that in both those combos I only did one loop. And the reason why that is is because that's kind of all Cat gets now. Before, she used to be able to get two loops before she had to uh, end her combo. I personally don't think they had to take it away from her because in terms of like how much damage she did, it didn't really escalate her damage by that much. Um, in my personal opinion, maybe it really did. Clearly they took it out. It, it had to go or something. But as you can see, she still gets decent damage from that. But uh, segue aside, Basically, if you want to get um, uh, double loops for her cartwheels, you can still do this if you basically start your combos with a cartwheel, kind of like a max range cartwheel. Because the thing of it is, if I do the combo like uh, normal, and I try and do that, she'll flip over to the other side. Subsequently, um, let's say that I can actually get the hit confirm from light into medium after I do this cartwheel. If I try to do another cartwheel, I just they, they'll just fall out of the combo anyway. So now what we get is something that kind of looks like this. So that will still give you your two loops. You just have to do like a max range cartwheel, which in all fairness, this is actually a decent move to fish with, especially when you back it up uh, with assists as well. So another change to Cat, I know it sucks. It almost seems like I, like Cat got nothing but like nerfs like over the span of these like last two patches. Um, you can no longer combo her crouching light into her launcher. This was not a big deal, but it was just another combo path that Cat had because what I used to be able to do is after you did Rekka into Kimberly assist into the stagger, you could run up and then you could do like crouching light into launcher. Or you could do this 
uh, into launcher, like do the the crouching light into launcher, uh, just as a solo combo for a cat, and you just don't get that anymore. The only way you're going to be able to get that combo is if you're in the corner, like so, and then you go for her uh, crouching medium attack into her hard, and then do that route. So you should get something that kind of looks like this. Other than that, the pretty much the only way you're going to be able to uh, get an air combo off her launcher with Cat is if you use this as an anti-air. And then, of course, you just do this whole thing. And that gives you that. And honestly, guys, that pretty much uh, does it for Cat. Once again, I know it sucks. It seems like all she did was just kind of get, like, nerfed. But d despite all of that, her game plan is still very much intact. And she's still a fun character to use, being able to do cartwheel loops. And her damage, as you guys saw, is, is still good. So the changes were probably warranted. The only thing that truthfully, truthfully matters is the fact that you have to give up the range with your crouching medium attack um, for doing your lights and then doing this whole number. Anyway, guys, that'll do it for this uh, character breakdown going over changes for Cat. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll be back to you later with future videos. This is Parker Lad, and I will see you guys next time.